The neck check can be done by anyone right in their home in front of their mirror. What one would be looking for is the center line of their neck from the chin all the way to the chest. Where the neck meets the chest, there is usually a small hollow in between the two bones and the muscles that one will see. Higher up in the neck, usually people are familiar with the Adam's apple, of course, which is more prominent in men than in women. That is not the thyroid. Below that, there will be the thyroid. So one gets familiar with how that center line bulge looks like and the right side of the center line and the left side of the center line just below the Adam's apple. The next step is to swallow a sip of water and to observe the thyroid moving up in the neck. And this takes a little experience of knowing one's neck because usually people are not familiar with their neck. And two, repeated evaluation, looking at that mirror and getting familiar with your own neck. And once you find the thyroid and you're comfortable that's your thyroid, you want to see if it's a smooth area that moves up and neck or there are any bulges which are asymmetric from one side to the other. Um, so any lumps and bumps, whether one examines in the beginning or on repeated exam they find some changes, they need to bring it to the attention of the doctor. And even people who have abnormal thyroid, uh, which has not been removed, can continue to examine their neck in between their doctor visits to see if there are changes so that they can alert their doctor if they are concerned. Thank you for choosing St. Peter's.